everybody and welcome to Planetary TV. I'm your host today, Planetary, and today it is part two of my trip to Cornwall. Though I do say in the title it's my holiday, so sorry that's a bit confusing there. So at the end of last video I said it was day five and you've just seen the day five thing pop up after my little intro, so it is day five. Today we're going into Newquay, we're going to walk there, that's going to be fun. <laughs> so this time you may actually get to see a little bit more because we're just going around on our own today so that's gonna be fun so i'll see you at the next bit thank you nice just come down a big hill then look a bunch of cows they chose a very unflattering angle but um this is the hill we've just walked down man i can't wait to walk up that later <laughs> this gate must be kept closed at all times that's what the sign says this doesn't look closed to me. Mmm. It doesn't look closed. So guys, we've just walked around this little corner here, past all that um, horse marks. Over here is the lovely view of the estuary. Completely recommend buying, bringing a kayak or a paddleboard here. And then they have a swing. I have came here a, a bit ago and the swing was a lot more low down than this. I think the rope might have snapped, but if you can figure out a way to get up here, you can swing on it. That used to also be a swing, but I think it's broken. Yeah, I think there used to be like a stick or something in here. Now it's just a piece of rope. Ow. How dare you. Right, now we're going to continue on our little walk to so Newquay. guys, now we've come to the tidal bridge. It is that little black thing right there. It is around eight feet deep. We're not getting across that. Not without bikinis on. Not with swimming costumes and at least the paddleboard. So now we're going to do the next alternative and walk that away until we get to that little green bit over there. I'll show you when we get there. Right, so guys, we tried to walk across the estuary, but it was very deep and it's very boggy over there. So if you see that big bridge over there with the cars on it, just below it, oh look, there's an ice cream van. <laughs> Never mind. If you see just below it and there's a few little pixels, that's the bridge we're gonna walk across. This is the path we're on. This is how boggy it is. Good thing we're in trainers and not flip-flops, am I right? <laughs> so guys, after around an hour long walk, we have arrived at New Quay and now we're currently at the boating lake. As you can see, there are pedalos. I don't know if we're gonna go on a pedalo though. I would love to, but look how close. Just a bit, dun, dun, dun. Woo! I could fall in and get soaking wet right now, which was what everybody wants. <laughs> Look, it looks very nice though. Uh, we're quite far away from Tesco's. I thought we were going to be like popping out right where the Tesco's is, but we're not. So let's just continue going around and we'll see what happens next. So we've just came and apparently there is a riding stable here. Just, <laughs> I saw this and I was like, oh, horse again would love this. If you don't know who Horse Again is, go check out her YouTube channel. She's absolutely great, though she hasn't posted in like forever. <laughs> Let's go and see what's happening. So, there. guys, we're currently in the middle of the lake. We decided to go on one of the pedalos. <laughs> this is really cool. We don't have to pedal in the front, the people in the back have to pedal, so thank you. Not that you're gonna be on camera. <laughs> so, yeah, 15 pounds for half an hour for four person. So, this is really good. Just down here at nu Nuki Boating Lake. Let's go to the next bit. We're not going to crash into the reeds again. I hope. <laughs> okay, so guys, we've just come off the pedalos. That was absolutely smashing. I loved it so much. Would completely recommend. They have a Facebook page here. I, I, I couldn't find out what it was though. So you guys can have to look that up yourself. But it was incredible. It was the cheapest one we've seen. We've been to Chester and they have it for like uh, 30 quid for like 25 minutes. This one, 15 pounds for half an hour. That works out really, really well actually, really cheap. I was honestly expecting it to be really, really expensive because of, you know, inflation and stuff that's been going on. But no, yeah, completely, completely recommend it. Once in a lifetime opportunity by the fact we could probably come back and do it again. I don't know why but we've gone to look at the horse prices because I like horses as much as the next person but riding them. The one thing in my mind is 
if I fall, I'm going to be falling onto hard ground and the horse. <laughs> We're probably not going to do horse riding at all. So, yeah, boats definitely. They have pedalos and they also have rowboats. <laughs> it's just like. We were like, oh, should we do a rowboat? We've already got a kayak. Why would we need a rowboat? <laughs> so now we're going to go and do the next bit. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that segment of we went around a lake three times. <laughs> We've just been into Boardmasters and I got a cracking pair of sunglasses. I think, I know you're probably thinking they're a bit big, but I personally quite like them. Now we're going to just look around a few more shops, I think. Right, so guys, we've just come to this little viewing area. This is the beach we're going to go down to later. And my goodness, when I'm wearing my sunglasses, this water looks turquoise. Right, when I take it off though, it's a pretty much, um, it looks like sea. Apparently Boardmasters is on soon. I don't know which beach that's on though, but I don't think it's going to be this one considering there's not that many waves, though there is some surfers down there. <laughs> Let's go past the bars so I don't drop my phone. Mm, we're going in here. We're going in the shop. I'm not going to say the name of it. Right, so guys, we've just been inside one of the more iconic shops over here. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say the name or not, so I'm just going to show you the bag see if you can make that out so yeah we've been in there got a bunch of clothes and a nice new little bag for me so yeah I call that a successful shopping trip completely recommend if you're down here now we're gonna go down to the beach I think right so guys I've just been in Poundland and you'll never guess how much they're charging you for cat treats I bought uh, Tibbles and Cookie salmon flavored cat treats because they're in fish right now that robbed me of 25p I know, it's so shocking. I need to go back in there and demand a refund. <laughs> Joking. These normally cost like £1 something, so 25p is really cheap. It's expensive cats. <laughs> right, so guys, I'm currently going to have a Cornish pasty. It is creamy chicken. Not the traditional, because I've had the traditional before and I wasn't really a big fan of it. But oh, nearly falling off the curve. <laughs> yeah, so I'm going to eat this. It's nice. <laughs> Tastes like pastry recommend it <laughs> right so guys we've just been inside a uh, weird fish yeah that took me like 10 seconds to think of i got some weird fish they have a deal on you spend 75 pounds in store and you can get a free pair of socks i didn't spend 75 pounds so i didn't get any socks but hey i got clothes i got funky clothes <laughs> Why do I say it like that? Funky's so dead. Okay, so now we're gonna go to the beach. Bye. So guys, we just took a taxi back. I am absolutely exhausted, but we've had an absolutely smashing day. Before we went back, we went to Baron and Jerry's and we had um, just some box standard ice cream, but I got the most American thing on the menu. I say that because it said on the menu, the most American thing you'll find in Cornwall. It was called the Mississippi Mud Pie and it was like five balls of chocolate ice cream with whipped cream and hot fudge on top and some chocolate biscuit thingies. Um, I don't know what they were called, but it was delicious. Would completely recommend. Most expensive ice cream ever though. I'm not going to tell you how expensive though because uh, that's awkward. Anyway, um, so yeah, we've actually run out of time this episode. <laughs> I shouldn't have called this my trip to my holiday to Cornwall part two. I should have called this my trip to Cornwall part two. P.S. It's just day five. <laughs> Hopefully we can get a few more days in in episode three or part three. So look out for when that comes. And thank you again so much for everybody to watching. If you enjoyed this video, please feel free to choose and watch any of my other videos. It, honestly, I'm so grateful to everyone who views my videos. 
is, and if you really liked my channel, please consider subscribing, it helps me out a ton. And currently, right now, I don't know if this has changed or not, I'm on 39 subscribers, so you could be my 40th. You never know, unless that number's probably going to become very outdated at some point, <laughs> hopefully. So, yeah, this is it. So, until next time, my stars, stay starsome, goodbye! <laughs>